Today we're going to be making a monster AT-AT from Star Wars and then flying drones around it trying to trip it up just like in the movie. Hey guys, we're back here and as you can see our obsession with Star Wars is still going it's strong. Not <laughs> yeah, the force is strong with us. And today as you can see we have the AT-80, -AT, which is one of my favorites from Star Wars. Uh, made its debut I believe in The Empire Strikes Back. And Josh, you designed this little prototype thing here. It's like a Labrador size AT-80. -AT, -AT. <laughs> and this is amazing. Yeah, it was a fun little project here and our end goal here was actually to get a proof of concept so we could supersize it with a very special reason. There's a gentleman named Jesse Perkins. If you don't know who he is, he is basically the godfather of something called Tiny Whoops. Tiny Whoops are these micro drones that oftentimes you see that fly indoors through amazing gates. And uh, Jesse was kind enough from the very start when we got our headquarters to offer to make this place a world class whoop area with you know amazing tunnels and stuff. So he was kind enough to come down with his friend Dean and work with us for about two weeks to build ultimately some amazing gates for people to fly through and for us to have a big party. But we didn't want to stop there. We wanted to build a monster sized AT-AT to kind of recreate that feeling of flying between the legs and stuff just like in the movies right yeah, just like accurate? yeah just like the snow speeders so a lot of you guys probably remember in the movie wrapped one of these things up and it actually fell and we're gonna see if we can get as close to that as possible by yeah. making a giant scale model out of foam board and having some fun with some tiny whoops so we got our design files updated we're gonna go ahead and start cutting and getting to work we're gonna be refining this a little bit yeah we're gonna try to take the level of detail and scale and paint it up to a whole nother notch so it looks like something just out of the movie so when we fly through it it looks amazing it's coming together. So this is really cool. Noah's been working on the big pieces. I've been working on the small details. So this is going to be kind of, I think this is like a tail gunner or exhaust port area. This is going to fit the on butt. the back. It's the butt. It's exactly it. This is the butt. And then we have the nose. We have that iconic. This is where the LEDs are going to be going through, right Alex? Mm -hmm. And I still see nothing but dinosaur teeth here. <laughs> and then that will go down here. From that point on, we're going to be slapping panels on with more detail. And then we're going to be building the legs. Oftentimes with our models and stuff, we have A-folds and B-folds. What we're really trying to stay with here is just 45 degree bevels or cracking it loose for an open angle. And what that does is you can now enlarge the plans like big or small. It all scales without having to worry about the thickness of the foam. So we're doing something really cool here. In the classic scene of Star Wars, there's two different ways that this AT-AT -AT fell. One was face forward and one was to the side when Luke like slid open his belly. We're gonna go ahead and try to recreate the part where he falls to the side, but we don't wanna just like tip him over or something. We want you, Maddie, to fly around with the snow speeder and yeah, kind of oh yeah. tangle him up and then have him fall over from that. And to do that, we need a mechanical action. I think we figured it out here. Uh, this is, by the way, is my son Noah here. He's been helping us out. Hey. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually Maddie, I'm hoping that you're gonna be chasing through these legs. Oh yeah. Because we're gonna make a way so this this articulates forward, this will slowly move the center of gravity further and further. So Maddie, as you walk more and more, these legs will tighten up more and so more. So if I pretend like I'm a string and I pull, yeah, you pull it would be coming this way, right? Forward and then boom, right over. Awesome. So we got right now we got we got this part moving, we got this part moving. What we gotta do is we gotta figure out how to basically actuate it properly. So every time you do that wrap, you're actually physically tying it up more and more. And when you pull away, hopefully these two will be close enough where it'll tip the whole thing over with the power of just a whoop and a little bit of servo action. I'm excited. So Noah's yep. gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting some other parts uh, assembled. And then we're gonna be painting the final one once we figure out how to make this mechanism work. Sweet. We wouldn't be able to build these AT-ATs behind me without Gunship Battle Total Warfare, who's the sponsor of this episode. Gunship Battle Total Warfare is a massive multiplayer online strategy game on mobile. You control the battlefield with modern war tactics such as airstrikes, tactical bombings, rallying, and scouting. So a cool thing about this game is it's based on history. So the weapons and the units in this game are based on historical backgrounds. Not only that, but this game also has high graphic quality to add realism to the battlefield. There's fierce competition. You can get online with your buddies, build alliances, battle each other, and then form a front line with players from around the world and enjoy an endless battle with other players. Produce your own army, navy, and air force units and use them tactically in battle. Do us a big solid, click that link in the description below. That's gonna get you some pretty awesome upgrades within the game. And we're gonna pick five of you guys out there for a special coupon code to get some even specialer upgrades within the game. So make sure to check out that link below. That's literally helping us build this AT-AT. All right, so no, you did a really good job, buddy. Yeah, thank so you. So what we got here is Maddie, as you fly around it, we have two separate channels 
that are going to be kind of activated here. And as you make those wraps and stuff successfully, what we're gonna do is we're gonna incrementally increase how tight it gets, just like the walker's trying to walk through. But the rope, has, every time it puts that energy to go forward, the rope's getting tighter and tighter and tighter, just like in a movie. Uh, on our throttle, we have two push rods. And one wrap, boom. Two wraps, boom. Three wraps, boom. And hopefully, and the dark side builds these pretty good, I guess. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just keep keep plugging in. There we go. Oh. Uh, oh, 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 there, there it goes. We go. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be our goal here. Uh, what we got to do next here, we got to perfect that. We got to figure out how we're going to make that work every time we wrap around it. And we got to put a sick paint job on it. Awesome. All right, so Jesse Perkins, my man over at Tiny Wolf, heard about this project we were doing, and he actually hooked us up with these awesome little guys in here. First of all, if you guys never order anything, he always sends you candy, which is my weakness. Yes, cake is my weakness. So he sent us over his new brushless clear tiny whoops. That way we can make the snow speeders out of these guys. They're running his new motors, so he, he sent us two of these to do what we will with it. And you're actually gonna take my personal tiny wolf and actually make a prototype real quick. Yep, so I'm gonna start by cutting the basic outline of the snow speeder in the styrofoam plate. Then I'll set the tiny wolf on top and then cut out the silhouette. Then what I'll do is I'll glue like the details on like the cockpit and the cowlings. Then we'll be ready to test it. Sick dudes. So this is our prototype, man. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. The only thing I'm concerned about, though, yes. is which we learned from numerous times from the UFO, <laughs> Thor's hammers. <laughs> These back ducks know it kind of covered up, but he did put air holes here. So we're gonna try it out. It might not work, but from what I know from Thor's hammer, this might yeah. might be a bust. But let's plug it in and give it a whirl. Nope. 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 So I didn't realize this, but I could tr probably trim back a little of the back and underneath here to get some more airflow. To be honest, dude, I would just cut the top just of the ducks. Cut the top off. Because yeah. yep. if we notice, I'm gonna go back to Thor's hammer again. Yeah. Um, Thor's hammer, me and Jeremy tried how many things, Jeremy? You need open ducts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need, open ducts. we've okay. tried to put fan yeah. covers on it. Box fan was another. Yeah. Get in it. Oh. And that's just because it needs as much air as possible to go through the, to go through the top of the motor. Yeah. Cut the tops off, we'll try to refly it, and then we'll have a prototype ready, and we'll trip some ATAT -AT over with some string. Let's do it. Oh, okay. All right, dude. V2 prototype, snow speeder. Take one. Prototype number two, take one. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I gave it yaw and it just cut out. Uh, I, no. I got to try to wrap you. <laughs> nice man. So how'd it fly? Dude, it flew pretty good, dude. Fist bump to Noah. He's behind the camera, so. Oh, we can actually, I can actually fist bump you. <laughs> <laughs> This is looking really cool. You're on the legs now, right? Yeah, I am. All right, so what's this in your hand? Uh, this is a contraption that we made. It's pretty much two pieces of wood with uh, tape in the middle. That way okay. they slide back and forth. Okay. Then we put a uh, screw in the middle to uh, keep it from wobbling back and forth. And now yeah. when we sandwich it with another leg, that way this leg can move with the servos. Back and forth. Yep, back and forth. Nice. Now you guys probably notice how splotchy this looks on, on camera specifically. 
that's okay because we're going to, once it's all assembled, we're gonna go ahead and go over with one final coat of paint and be strategic and then go back in with shading and it's gonna really set this whole, uh, oh, yeah. whole thing apart. I haven't flown this one. This is the one that Jesse sent us in the mail, so I just sent it up on Thanks, data flight. You need to test it. Yeah. A little better. There it goes. I think, I think it's ready for battle. It's, yeah, it's good. Woo! What do you guys think of it? I think it's awesome. Good work. Uh, top left, top left. Uh, hey, top left. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm excited. All I right. want to trip some ATATs up with this whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. So I'm too lazy here, and also we're down on short time. So I made a whole bunch of stencils just from the laser file I drew that I can simply hold this over. So rather than having to do each individual window or trying to mask, all I need to do is hold this piece right over here and then just go with my airbrush on each individual one and then I get that. Once I get that point, these pieces have like shadows around them. I can just crack these pieces out, hold it down, and then kind of dust around it and stuff. game going on here. I'm holding a transmitter, but I'm not flying anything. I actually have this hooked up to the legs. So Alex, you're going to actually be eventually trying to tie this up. Right? Yeah, we're going to do some joy flight first because I've always wanted to fly through the legs. That's what I always do in the video games. Oh yeah. Best childhood memory right there. So we're going to do some flying and then yeah, we're going to try to tie this thing up and knock it over just Love like it. in the movie. So what do you say? You guys ready? I'm ready. Oh, uh, this is a brushless whoop, isn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. I've never flown one of these. Oh, the power is ridiculous. So I'm flying the snow speeder model. He's flying the classic whoop. I'm just gonna get used to it here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm just trying to do some chase quad. <laughs> nice, dude. dude. It handles the uh, extra weight pretty darn well, which is impressive. Oh wow, dude, all right, <laughs> so. Found the uh, found the ATATs. I'm just doing a couple <laughs> strafing runs. Dude, what's it look like looking at it from the perspective? <laughs> it feels exactly <laughs> like a snow speeder, dude. <laughs> they look awesome. Oh, uh, coming around town, going around the shop. Dude, I love it. It handles all this weight pretty good. Now this is a brushless tiny whip. I've actually never flown one of these before. Dude, so. you look awesome right now. <laughs> I love the fact that you're getting air to air from a tiny whip. Yep. When you think about that. Woo! Cool. That was so awesome. You right. should go through the kaleidoscope tunnel. <laughs> Oh, great oh, idea. Awesome so, idea. I didn't so, even think about that. Here's hyperspeed in a snow speeder. It's going to freak all the Star Wars nerds out because it's not possible. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Look at how cool it is. Actually, that wasn't yeah, hyperspeed. That's not hyperspeed. That this is, this hyperspeed. is hyperspeed, yeah. Yeah, huge shout out to Jesse, man. He's the reason that we have these here, and the reason you guys are gonna be able to enjoy them here when we have our indoor tiny whoop events. Yeah, we realize that snow speeders going into light speed isn't uh, accurate in the Star Wars universe, but we it figured cool. we have the technology, we might as well. Do it. All right, so now the most iconic thing is when Luke, he flies through the legs a couple different times doing like strafing runs, so I'm gonna see if I can line up an approach. You got a hard Dude. approach because you don't have much, much room to be able to. There's not a lot. You're right. Nice approach. Nice approach. Nice. <laughs> that was sick, dude. This one now. Oh, oh my dude. goodness, dude. <laughs> it's just so much fun to fly around these things. It doesn't even make sense. Oh, I hit it. It's... Alrighty. Coming around, I'm gonna do another strafing run. Uh, might as well hit up the honeycomb. What is this thing called? Kaleidoscope tunnel. Kaleidoscope. Oh, oh. it looks so crazy. I just love shooting these ATATs awesome. with my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> so tell you what, I'm gonna do something 
very inaccurate to the movie. I'm gonna try to just play that one. Yeah, Luke took the hard way. What he could have done is he could have just came right up and just docked it right on top. <laughs> did you do it? Oh, you did, dude. Oh, disarm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the only thing left to do now is a... We gotta tie this thing up. Oh yeah, I see know. if we can knock it over. Do Let's it. do it. All right, All right so uh, pre-flight's done. I'm firing up my snow speeder. Permission to take off? Yeah, dude. Let's do go it. Luke Skywalker. All right, I'm just gonna go for it, man. Oh, man. Tie it up. Yeah, tie it up, dude. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, I can feel it. Keep going. Oh. I can feel it. Oh! Keep going. Pull oh. it. Pull it. Oh. <laughs> Great wingman. Yeah, I think uh, the pilot died in the process. <laughs> I, I think I did too. Mission accomplished. I got tied up on the underbelly. But overall, I'd say it was a success. So guys, this isn't our first Star Wars project. We've done many in the past. If you want to check those out, check those out here. And also a huge shout out to our friend Jesse Perkins from Tiny Whoop, all the Tiny Whoop community. Again, we'll put the links below to these little Tiny Whoops. Make sure you check those out. I don't know if we're done with this ATAT -AT or not, but make sure you subscribe because we have all kinds of cool projects coming down the pipe. See you next time. I just love shooting these ATATs awesome. with my imagination. <laughs> <laughs>